Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Sims, it's me Rawls, and this is a current household! I'm making jazz hands, but you can't see it. So, uh, as you may notice here, um, I have a lot of current households. That's because I get to play, like, entire neighborhoods in sort of very, very, like, uh, precisely curate them um so yeah i actually play all of these families all the time um there's like giant neighborhood spanning stories and everything you might see people you recognize like the harrington sisters this is a version of them um so, you know i sort of uh dupe them and use them in my get together lp in a different save uh you might recognize these guys particularly uh michaela valenzuela there um, from my, uh, what is it, Rex Riches, and I'm pretty sure I did a current household on, uh, Shari and, uh, Manuel before. Their family has expanded since then. Um, but yeah, so we have lots of people here. You might have seen some, you might never have seen, but, uh, so I figured I'd just do a little series, you know, kind of touching on the various uh households i like to play with um so but today we're gonna we're gonna start with with these three lovely lovelies here um and they're all in their their night clothes or no you're in your workout clothes uh so let's let's put them in in their normal stuff so we're gonna start here this is layla dennis um she uh is the daughter of another household one of the actually one of the very very first households i ever made in the sims 4 um uh she has her mothers are um sarah and reyna and uh layla was uh born uh they uh had an anonymous donor uh, artificial insemination and uh yeah she's their daughter and she also has two younger sisters uh very adorable young girls who were adopted by her her moms and uh yeah she she's always been a sort of overachiever go-getter very you know uh she likes to box and she is a really really dedicated big sister and just not a very good kid um as you can see uh i was extraordinarily happy when they did the <laughs> removal of gender uh, restrictions on Kaz because uh, Layla was always in my mind um, meant to be very butch um, but that was really really hard to achieve before but now I can and it's great so yeah she she's she's great um, so her traits are that she is act active She's a bro. She's a bro. And she's good. She's a very good person. And she is a bodybuilder. Um, that is her aspiration. Now, she has uh, gotten a job as a police officer. Um, so she's sort of rising through those ranks very quickly. I think she's about to be promoted to, she's about to be promoted to detective. And, um, yeah, she, she, she's living, she's living well. And it's really great. Now, when she got, graduated from from high school excuse me um she moved out and into a lovely sort of industrial uh little sort of place with her best friend charlie um now charlie is also the product of a uh two mom family um except charlie charlie's mother uh antonia uh used to have a husband but he he basically he they divorced and he just sort of disappeared into into the sunset never really to be heard from again whatever and um then antonia eventually uh when charlie was a teenager uh and her her younger sib was was a kid antonia met um maya who was the son of mine i should note that uh charlie um Bailey, who is her sister, and uh, Antonia, they were all randomly generated, so it was one of those randomly generated uh, sim families, it's like the single mom and two kids, and I don't know, I just fell in love with them because I was I was playing with the household of the sim that I created, which is Maya, I think I actually have her for upload on the, um, 
on the, the gallery, but Maya Montalvo was the semi I was flying with, and she sort of fell for Antonia, and Antonia had these two kids, and it all just sort of progressed, the story sort of progressed from there. But anyway, uh, so yeah, Charlie uh, ended up with, uh, with a new stepmom, and, you know, she, she took it very well. She's always been a, she's always been a sweetheart, but she's, she tends to be a little bit abstracted, you know, she, she's very smart, very creative, she's always sort of excelled at a lot of different things, but she's never been able to really sort of settle on one thing. She tends to have kind of little moods, and, and, you know, she, she's down sometimes, and up other times, and so it, it tends to be hard for her to sort of settle on one thing, and here is my cat in my face. Um, <laughs> to settle on sort of what she really wants to kind of pursue long term. Um, she's currently working in the business career, but that's just kind of like we need to pay the rent on our our you know little uh, brownstone basically. But you can see her her uh, thingy is she's gloomy. She is a music lover and she's also creative. And then her aspiration is Renaissance Sim. So that's old Charlie for you. And this is Charlie's younger sister. Um, again, this is her younger sister from her mom, Antonia, and their uh, missing father. Um, uh, Antonia and Maya actually had uh, twin girls. Not twin, they're not twins. Boy and a girl. I am thinking of a different family. Anyway, <laughs> their their moms actually had uh, twins um, later on. But uh, Bailey here, she is has the same father as uh, <clears throat> excuse me as Charlie. And uh, so something you may have noticed uh, when I was on Charlie and I hovered over Bailey, it says brother. Uh, that is because Bailey was assigned male at birth. Um, uh, Bailey's birth name is actually Bradley, but, uh, she sort of knew pretty early on, um, that she, she was not, a, she was not a guy, she, she's a girl, and so she, she's been living as, uh, she's sort of been transitioning, and she's been living as, as Bailey since she was a teenager, um, she hasn't had, like, uh, any kind of reassignment surgery yet, but, she has been on hormones and that sort of thing and living as Bailey since she was a teen and um yeah her family was very accepting very supportive which is you know it's a good environment for her to have been able to to go through this transition and everything and you know of course while she was in the middle of that teen love kind of happened and she fell for Layla uh her sister's best friend so yeah when they moved out um she had just finished they moved after high school, but like they were, it was more like they were like a year or so after high school when they decided to get a place and she was in her final year of high school and she was 18 and she was like, I'm going to go with them. And so she did. And her and, La her and Layla are, are quite uh, sweet together. They are planning to get married. They're, they haven't quite, they haven't, they haven't set a date. They haven't done anything like that yet, but they definitely have their sights set on getting married and having a family and all of that good stuff. So I'm actually just gonna, uh, oh yeah, and her, her traits, yeah. She's an art lover, she's quite the perfectionist, and she's a foodie. Um, she is also a classical pianist, uh, which is great, and her, um, her aspiration is soulmate, of course. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to hop into uh, their home and show you a little bit of what they've been up to. Uh, here we go. Yeah, and Bailey is, she she doesn't have a job yet. Um, she sort of tries to look after the house and she likes to cook and, you know, just basically play her piano. And I don't know if they, if she may come into a little bit of conflict. I mean, she's more likely to come into conflict about it with her, her big sis than she is, you know, her, her sort of doting girlfriend, but <laughs> her uh, whole resistance to, I, I, actually I wouldn't even call it a resistance, it's just kind of like, you know, she was the baby of the family for a long time before uh, the twins were born. You can actually uh, see them in, in here, see here's the twins right here, Wade and Willow, they're adorable. And so here's their mama Antonia, you can see. And then there's her stepmom, Maya. Yeah. 
So she was sort of she was a baby for a long time. So she sort of used to, the the family is pretty well off. Uh, Antonia is a comedian and she was doing pretty well. And then when she married Maya, Maya owned a rather successful art gallery because you know she's an artist and she did all of the art herself and so they had a lot of money and <laughs> Bailey kind of was a little bit spoiled so she's not she's not really used to sort of working basically so they'll probably have a little bit of a conflict over that for a while but you know it happens and for some reason Layla's the only one who's out eating <laughs> in the middle of the night I guess, I guess it's only 11 o'clock but in the middle of the night eating macaroni and cheese sure sure honey sure so yeah she is currently a corporal she's very close to being promoted to detective she basically has her performances ex outstanding she just needs to actually do an interrogation so yeah and this is their little their, their gorgeous sort of very industrial kind of repurposed I guess it's more of a repurposed like factory or something this is a sim supply build love all of his stuff always of course and uh yeah it was really really perfect for them so so um Layla and and Bailey have this upstairs sort of master bedroom connected uh bathroom and then downstairs um is is uh is uh Charlie and then they have their sort of uh living space down here which is really nice good stuff good stuff here is the little punching bag that <laughs> that Layla goes to town on all the time. You can see she is very, very nearly uh, level 10 fitness. And this, of course, is Bailey's grand piano. Yes, they live in a repurposed factory. And she has a grand piano down in the basement. That's just kind of a, a sort of peek into how you she is to kind of being, you know, treated in all instances so yeah this is their nice little house and are you gonna go to bed honey oh no she finally went to bed oh they're snoozling oh yeah and they also have i put this pool in myself it wasn't there but i felt like it was it was missing something in the backyard and so i figured you know why not um i think most of them you have work today don't you oh no it's saturday you're off which is annoying, actually, because you're about to be promoted. Um, she's assistant to the manager right now. But, uh, yeah, she kind of doesn't have any real, like, romantic interest or anything. She's kind of always been very self-focused. For some reason, she hates this girl. I don't know why. Maybe they have some kind of uh, ongoing thing from high school or something since this person is still a teen. Let's see. And she hates me. Why do you hate Mitra? Oh my god, they work, oh, they work together. Okay, oh yeah. So, Mitra, um, he's actually one of my favorite Sims. He's part of another family that I, basically all of these Sims are either default Sims from the game or Sims that I play. Or they're Sims I either, Sims that I made or that I downloaded from a gallery that I inserted into the game. I don't like randomly generated Sims in this particular save. I avoid them at all costs. I have a mod that makes them not happen. But oh, Mitra is a darling. I don't know why she hates Mitra, but I guess because Mitra is actually, he's like the CEO or something. So maybe she just hates him because he's her boss. <laughs> Which is probably not great, but maybe, you know, understandable. I don't know. He's like, but he's like way above her, so I don't know. Who can say? Here, come eat some, eat some mac and cheese. Girly, get your butt down there. Thank you. Oh, Layla has to go to work today. Yeah, you need to, to get your booty off to work. Doing a little bit of stretching here. Do some push-ups or something. Uh, do some morning push-ups. And then some morning sit-ups. You know, just, just get your juices flowing. She is very, very fit, as you may have noticed, from all the muscles. What's wrong with you? You're just uncomfortable because you're hungry. Well, you're eating now, honey buns. You're in the bathroom. Yeah, she needs to reach level three of any career, which is annoying because she, because she did so well in school, she automatically went to level three of business. And she's like just about to get promoted, and it doesn't count it until she's actually gotten promoted since she started at level three. But what can you do? What are you about to do? Oh, you're gonna hug. 
Oh, good girl, huh? She, she's eating macaroni and cheese for breakfast. What are you doing? Aw, oh, sisters! Cute. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to work with, uh, or I'm not going to take you guys to work with, uh, with Layla. So instead, I'm gonna end this here. This is just sort of a little peek in, into these guys and their life. I'll probably do more of these with some of the other families, um, maybe their originating families or just completely unrelated ones. But in any case, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave comments down below if you have anything to say, any kind of feedback or questions or anything like that. Um, if you want to see more of these guys or if you're particularly curious about anyone you sort of saw in the in the uh, manage uh, house household screen that you're like, hey, Rawls, do, do, a, I want to hear about these people and their story, etc. Uh, I would be glad to do uh, anything that you guys would want to see. Um, but in any case, I will talk to you in the next video that I make. Bye! -bye.